Welcome. I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to limit the zoom distance in the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. You will learn how to change the zoom that players experience during gameplay. Let's get started. So you'll want to have Roblox Studio open. And you can see I'm working on a game here. I've got a couple objects in the game. Now, in order to make sure you see the same thing that I'm seeing, uh, you will want to make sure that your Explorer tab and Properties tab are open on the right-hand side. If they're not, you want to go up to View and then click on Explorer and Properties and make sure they're gray so that they're showing. So first, let me show you how far the, the player can zoom currently. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, play the game in its current form. And you're going to see that I can zoom. If I use the scroll wheel, I can scroll that far out, pretty far. And then if I scroll in, I can go the whole way into first person. Now, if you don't have a scroll wheel, you can also use um, I and O. So O is out and then I is uh, zooming in. Okay, so you can see uh, how far I was able to uh, zoom out of the game. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this gameplay. So in order to find the zoom distance, you're gonna wanna go over to your Explorer tab and find starter player and go ahead and select starter player. And once you have it selected, uh, you can see on the bottom right hand corner with properties, there are certain uh, attributes that you can change. So you want to go down to where it says camera. And right here it has camera max zoom distance and then a camera min zoom distance. So the max is how far out they can zoom. So right now it's at 400. So that means you can uh, zoom out 400 studs, I believe. So if I were to lo lower that, you're going to notice I'm not going to be able to zoom. Let's go to maybe like 10. And once you just, you just uh, go ahead and change the number and then you can click outside. And then I'm going to go ahead and play again. And now I'm going to zoom out. And you're going to notice that I was able to limit the distance to 10. So now when I zoom out, that's as far as I can zoom right there. Actually, 10 is, seems to be the default. So now I can still zoom in because it said I could zoom in to 0.5. So I'm going to stop this. And let's say that I wanted to uh, make sure that I could not go into first person. Uh, let's go maybe uh, zoom the minimum uh, distance at 5. And then that way, I won't be able to uh, zoom the whole way in. And so now when I play this game, I'm going to start out at the distance of 10 from the camera. And now when I zoom in, that's as far as I can zoom. So I'm not able to get to the first person. Now, it, you might want to know how to go ahead and zoom into first person the entire time. And the way to do that is just uh, set each one to uh, 0.5. And that is um, a value that will work for first person. And so I'm going to go ahead and play this. And now when I ha it's going to show up, and I'm going to just be in first person from the beginning of the game. Oh, I must not have changed something. All right, let's go back. Let's see, I must have changed. Oh, I didn't. I did, so max out. I still. So the max distance out still needs to be 0.5. Okay, so I've got both at 0.5. Now when I play, and it's always important to you know test out uh, what you change to make sure it works. And so now. I'm in first person. I'm not able to zoom in or out. And you'll notice that sometimes if you're in this and you're in Roblox Studio, it's sometimes tricky to get out of it. So the way I usually do it is just uh, press Control Alt Delete, and that will get me to Task Manager. And then that way I can go ahead and stop uh, this, uh, you know, test game. So there might be another way to do it. If you know other ways to uh, get out of first person while you're in Roblox Studio, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. I appreciate it. Um, so you now know how to uh, limit the zoom for players' experience uh, during gameplay. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.